It's been quite the start to your UFC career. I mean, how would you describe, you know, Did what we start right? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> you ready? Say at least you hello. Hello, how are you, how sir? Are you? Thank you for showing I up. I am fine. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you guys also fine? Like thank you. I see you have some candies over there, right? <laughs> I like the sunglasses. Yeah, thank you. My brother Abu bought them. <laughs> as a gift. Listen, it's been quite the start to your to your career. I mean, how would you describe what it, what it's been like for you in the UFC so far? Alhamdulillah, it was very nice, and I hope it uh, will be always nice. It is always a pleasure to fight, especially to fight in UFC. Yes, uh, UFC is the biggest name in the world uh, for the MMA sport, and it uh, I would say it is uh, the dream of every athlete, every uh, MMA fighter. Uh, to get in the UFC and yes uh, I think also UFC is one of the only uh, organizations uh, I, which I know which uh, show their appreciations by giving the fighters opportunities to grow yeah you set the bar very high as you said everybody wants to be in the UFC but to perform the way you have I mean has that been even like surprising to you like that it's gone so well <laughs> to be honest, also yes. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I work always hard. I give always my best. I uh, you know I owe this myself. Owe this to my family, to my nation, to Morocco, but especially also all to to the whole MMA fans who support the MMA sports. Without MMA fans, uh, the sport wouldn't be like big day like this. You know, I mean, imagine no one watching MMA, so we wouldn't sit here and make interviews. So the biggest thank after God goes also to the people outside who support MMA, who uh, buy the 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 pay per pay per view and buy the merchandise and everything what uh, belongs to MMA, and therefore I think that we owe them to show them to give them something back by giving our best in the preparation and giving our best in the 15 minutes or 25 minutes which we get in uh, the octagon. And alhamdulillah, I always go with this mindset in. I want to give myself, my family, my nation, all the people out there something back and put my whole efforts in, uh, MM, in uh, the preparation. And I'm happy with anything comes, you know, because I know I couldn't make do it better. As long as you know you, can, you couldn't have done it better, you are happy with any results. And... Uh, like I said, also it's important to not be selfish, also to think about the MMA fans and to try to give them something back. But like I said, I didn't expect this. Alhamdulillah, I have to say thanks to God. He is the only one who made it possible. Very nice. What do you think about the matchup? When you got this one, uh, is this a, a name that you were familiar with at all? Were you excited for the style? What, what did you think about the matchup? To be honest, I, uh, I take every uh, opponent same serious. I never underestimate anyone. I don't overestimate. You can say uh, overestimate. Yeah. Or <laughs> okay, anyone. So <laughs> I prepare for anyone same way. I don't look too much uh, my opponents. Uh, that's the work of my uh, coaches. I trust them and they have to prepare me on the best way to be able to fight anyone. Nice. Last thing for me, uh, what do we see here? I mean, are, are, are you even going to see a second round for the first time? Or are, you, are you going know. out there? Never, what, what are we going to see happen? I never give predictions, you know, but I can just say I gave already my best in the preparation. The whole time which I got, I suffered. It was a hard preparation with a lot of ups and downs, but alhamdulillah, we never gave up. And uh, inshallah, I want to <coughs> remember all this... Uh, uh, preparation also in the fight day and give there also my also my best inshallah we spoke to matt earlier and he said he's been impressed with your power inside the octagon but he's excited to test you i spoke with him no we spoke oh ah, okay uh he's excited to test you to so to show like if even when you punch him he can keep going forward are you excited to face someone as durable as matt like I said, I don't underestimate him, but I don't. Uh, any for me, it's the same uh, opponent like the last one and the one before, and maybe the next one. Uh, if he's exciting, uh, excited, I am also excited to. 
I, I I love challenges. I love people who are open for challenges. Challenges. So, uh, I mean, everyone in the UFC is. Uh, is here because he deserves to be here. So it doesn't make any difference to, to Anna, to any uh, else one, you know. Everyone who got in the UFC is already proved already before, you know. So for me, it's... Uh, I respect every opponent. I saw him also. We spoke with each other. Hello, hello. That's all. But everything else we gonna do on Saturday in the cage. Who are some of the fighters you've been training with in this camp? Yeah, we had uh, <clears throat> the preparation, like always, I start every preparation in Morocco and they ended in my, also in Morocco. Uh, sometimes uh, it comes also between the, 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 the opportunity to go to uh, Vegas, to UFC Performance Institute, to body check uh, and to meet also my manager Ali Abdel Aziz, by the way. Salam alaikum. Ya Mozza. <laughs> Ali, he understand it inside. Fuh, ya faru. Sorry, Oof. What did you say? Ah, of course. Who are you training with? Yeah, with Ali. <laughs> no, no. I've been, uh, I started my camp in Morocco. We have a very good camp in Morocco. We have uh, all the fighters coming from all uh, around the world. We have many people uh, living in Morocco uh, who help uh, help us there. We have uh, fighters coming from Holland, uh, coaches from Holland, from everywhere. I they, I can I take one picture and uh, name them or <laughs> I can take a picture because you know they, they, they are too much. You know I forget already. You know <laughs> so I don't forget. Wait one second. So um, yes, and then we've been also in Vegas. In Vegas, we trained with um, uh, with uh, Justin Gaethje, with Usman Camaro, with uh, Henry Sohudo, with everyone in uh, uh, Randy Couture gym, and <clears throat> in uh, Morocco we trained with. <laughs> Yeah, with the... <laughs> Sorry, brothers. A worker, don't let me laugh. My brother is sitting there and he make... Uh, with, uh, yes, Aaron Pico came to Morocco and uh, Roberto, uh, Hamisha and Ilyas Bouliaid, very strong uh, K1 fighters from Holland and uh, Typhoon Oskan also with their coach Said and also the Hakeparas brothers, Nasrat Hakeparas was a part, the, I mean he was, the camp was also because of him in Morocco and uh, yeah, Ismail Nordaev, he was already in in uh, in, um, in UFC and uh, Jose No Chance and Yusuf Qaddour, many many people to be honest, also Jack Shield came and of course last but not least my coaches uh, Roberto Barrero and Yusuf Yaqub, my brother Abu Azaitar and Omar Azaitar. It, you know, I it, many people came and they went again, and uh, the other came, and the same also in Vegas. Alhamdulillah, we belongs to one of the best management, I would say. And Ali Abdelaziz is uh, someone who try always to connect the fighters a bit, even when they even sometimes the time comes that they will fight each other even though we still train with each other like uh, also I can imagine that Khabib and uh, Gechi train in the future with each other maybe it didn't come because the timing was not there but it will come soon anytime that uh, is the work of Ali so he's not uh, focusing on every fighter separately but he tries also to connect all the fighters together and that's how we're gonna grow Perfect. Well. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, sir. <laughs>